Now this one I think is still really, really easy to miss, but if you come into this room and go south, this is actually a little alcove out here, and the very first terminal is right there. Now I thought that was just jetting out of the wall, I didn't realize that there was a platform up there, but anyways, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the level and I'll see you guys back at the world map. What's up everybody, once again my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 3D Land. In the last episode, we ended off a little bit more than halfway through World 5, and in this episode, Hopefully, we'll be finishing up the rest of this world real quickly, though I want to address the absence that I've had this week. Uh, for those of you who may or may not know, I live in Connecticut, which is on the eastern side of the United States, and recently we got hit by Hurricane Sandy, so I lost power for like four days. Thankfully, though, the power has been restored, and uploads will resume as usual. Now that that is out of the way, though, what do you say we tackle this world? Actually, you know what, real quick, though. Since there's a me above this toad house, what do you say we go ahead and check out a toad house right now? I haven't done this yet in this LP, and you know what? Now is as good time as any to do it, because I believe the me's actually give you extra items. So let's figure out what this me is going to give us. Ooh, an extra tanuki leaf. You know what? I will actually take that. That is a very good trade-off for my fire flower. I probably won't need that fire flower for the remainder of this world anyways, and it's always good to have an extra tanuki. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the Mii's sort of show up by street pass or spot pass or if they show up randomly. I don't know, as far as I'm concerned they show up randomly. But since we're on the subject of toad houses, let's head back to world 3 real quick and check out this toad house. This one's a little bit different, as you can see it's got a blue sort of roof instead of a red one, so we don't get a item from this toad house, however, we get sort of an album. Basically what the album is, is every single, um, picture that's in between world that we've seen so far end up in here so you can sort of just look through them save them to your SD card if you really really want to but other than that there's not much else to do here so I just kind of wanted to get both toad houses out of the way while we're on the subject but now that that is done oh by the way these are 3d so you can go around them this area does kind of look cool in 3d too by the way but now that that is out of the way Let's head back to World 5 and actually get a level or two done, shall we? Enough filler content. <laughs> Alright, so let's jump back into World 5-5. Five -five. And I'm looking forward to this world. I I actually like this world a lot. Alright, so let's avoid this giant Goomba for now. We don't have the means to take him out, although we do now technically because we have the propeller suit. But you know what? He's like a lot larger than us in both mass and size so technically speaking we still shouldn't be able to stomp him but we can anyways and there I go again trying to apply sort of real life physics and whatnot to a Mario game which is completely pointless as we all know it doesn't make any sense anyways so I'm not even gonna bother doing it our first star coin is down here by the way oh that was close I almost screwed that up so there you go. I, now, if I had comboed all those Goombas down there, I probably would have gotten an extra 1-up from that. But as you can see, I'm at 69 lives already. D don't, don't make the joke. I know you're thinking about it, just don't even make it. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm not really pressed for 1-ups at the moment. I, I have a lot already. But you know what? I'll end up getting a few anyways without even trying. Anyways, we have another telescope over here. So what do you say we look into this? And, uh... Down here, you can see the end of the level is all the way over there. There's a lot of this level to go, but since we have the propeller sort of hat and everything like that, we we can make a lot of progress very quickly. Anyway, there's a toad up here that we can watch. There's really no point in watching this toad. He just falls all the way down. Oh, there's a star coin over there, by the way. We'll get that in a second. But he just falls all the way down to the goal, and honestly, I don't see a point in watching this, so we're not going to. I believe he gives you a mushroom if you sort of... Uh, collect it before you get the flagpole, but there's no point in that either since I have two tanuki leaves. So for now, we'll ignore that and move on. Now for this star coin, what I like to do is bounce off of this middle platform, off to the one on the right side, and then just do a little hop and get it from underneath. I think that's a lot safer that way because you get the upward sort of spin from your little propeller hat, and it's just easier and, like I said, it's, a, it's safer in my opinion to do it that way. Since you're already going up, there's less chance of you falling out of the world. Because, as you can probably tell already, there's no floor to this world. If you fall, you pretty much die. And everyone knows, if you've watched my videos before, or any one of my platforming videos before, you know that I just, I don't like sort of levels without floors or with bottomless pits. I just, I don't like them. Alright, I, I don't, they don't fare well with me. I have bad experiences with them. Ooh, can I get all these? Yes, there we go. Nicely done. Alrighty. 
All right, now I'm gonna take it really slow over here. I know I can probably do this a lot faster, but you know what? I'm not in a rush, and like I said, I'd rather take it easy since this is a bottomless level. So I I'd rather not rush it and not make a mistake and die. And our very third star coin is over here, so I'm gonna try and apply the same tactic, actually. Let's see if I can't go underneath it. There we go. That one, actually, you could probably get from going on top of it as well. There's really no need to go underneath that one, I don't think, but... Teach each their own, I suppose, so whichever way you decide to get it is, uh, good enough for me. Boy, who am I to tell you how to get a star coin? Alright, now I could probably float all the way to the goal from here, but you know what? Let's play it safe again and just land on this very last block. I want to make sure I get this golden flagpole. We're going to have to kill one of these beetles. Oh, yes, yeah, there is a mushroom down there that the toad, I think, gives you, so... We're going to ignore that, though, because we just want the golden flagpole. There we go. Another level done. And you know what? Screw double rainbow, man. There is triple rainbow in the background. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Unintentional reference to something that's on YouTube. There you go. And now that that is out of the way, we just say we head off to the World 5 Castle. Thankfully, we have all the star coins so far, so we can pretty much open up anything that, you know, presents itself in front of us. But, here we go! <laughs> it's that time again to infiltrate Bowser's castle. Well, technically speaking, this isn't Bowser's castle. I mean... His castle is more at the end of the game. This is just maybe one of his his halfway castles, or or just a random world castle that was already here. It's not really Bowser's per se. I mean, he made it, but all right, I, I'm thinking way too far into this. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop now while I'm ahead of the game. Anyways, this platform you're actually gonna want to wait for it to sort of come back down after it goes up through the lava, because if you jump at it, I believe you just, you're not high enough to make it, so you'll just end up falling in the lava. I've done it before, so. You, it's just better if you wait. Our first star coin is going to be on top of the swamp, so you just grab that and you're good to go. Our second star coin is actually going to be right over here. I'm going to take care of this dinosaur thing first, though. Get that out of the way, and we'll... Oh, that was close. We'll get our second star coin, and we'll make our way towards the checkpoint. You know what? Let's just grab all of these red coins. Why not? We're here... Oh, you stupid dry bones. I thought I was going to be able to kill you with my tanuki leaf. Well, darn it. That actually poses a problem. All right, I don't want to use my last Snooky though, just because I want to save it for later when I know I'm going to need it for the flagpole. Uh, the goal is up there. You can see these two little toads are trapped inside the castle over there. And, well, we are going to have to fight Bowser in a second here. But for now, let's worry about getting our last and final star coin. Oh, okay, I should probably equip my Tanooki Leaf. I really don't want to screw this up, but I'm going to risk it. It's worth it. Alright, the last star coin is over here, so wait until the very last second jump, and there you go, alright. This dinosaur is going to be a jerk, aren't you? Yes, you are. Alright, we're going to have to rely on our platforming strength to get through here. Watch out for the hammer. See, the hammer bros are even in this game. They should totally give you a hammer bro suit. Oh, make that. Yes, thank you. Ooh, you know what? There might be a power-up in one of these little blocks. So this might help me out in a second here. Or just completely be pointless to me. Thanks for that. Oh, nope. Let's wait a little bit. <laughs> Let's play it safe, Mario, shall we? We've only got a, an extra hit before I need my Tanuki, so I'd rather not waste it. And here we go. This is going to start the Bowser fight. Alrighty. Bowser, let's go. I would I would prefer if you shot your, your fire flower or not fire flower, your fireballs on the other side of the platform so I can easily avoid them and get through here. Come on, Mario, make this jump. Thank you very much, sir. That's appreciated. Alright, here we go. Oh, Bowser, why would you show up right there? That's not even a good spot for you to be in. It's really not. However, you designed this very poorly because you'll fi soon find out that your fire flowers, they can't, or your fire balls can't, why do I keep saying fire flowers? They can't go up slopes, so this is just poorly designed on your part. What am I doing? Alright, I need to focus here for a second. Come on, Mario. Let's, uh, let's do this. Don't jump towards me, Bowser. You're supposed to jump away from me. I'm supposed to scare you. See? This is how it works, man. Alright, let's jump over here, Mario. Yeah, screw you, Bowser. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can't actually do we can do this without getting hit here. Because usually I get hit. Okay, this is not even fair. Ha! I can jump backwards. 
You didn't expect that, now did you? Ah, these are next-gen tactics here. Stop jumping at me, what are you doing? Alright, this is just... See, if I had my Tanuki Leaf, I would've just, like, hovered around him, except I'm just... I'm too cautious and I don't want to lose it. I want it for that golden flag pull at the end, so I'm just playing it really, really safe here. I'm going for it! Ah ha ha, screw you, Bowser! No! You know what, whatever, invincibility frames, we're gonna make it! Come on, hit the button! Yes! That could have gone much better. I'm, I'm a tad bit disappointed with myself, but at the same time, I don't care because I got to keep my Tanuki Leaf for the end. So, uh, you know what, whatever. Screw you, Toads. Have fun getting out of the castle by yourselves. For now, though, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a golden flagpole. Was it worth it? In my opinion? Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> it wouldn't have been if we didn't lose either of our Tanukis, but you know what? At least we got through the level. Very poorly, I might add, but we did it. Nonetheless. And we got ourselves some fireworks, so you know what? I'm happy with that. Alright, but it looks like that is going to do it for World 5. It is so good to be back, but that's going to do it for this episode. So hopefully now I can get back to my sort of one world per episode that I've been doing until World 5 sort of interrupted me. But that is going to do it. So once again, guys, my name is Matt. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.